In this video, I will be showing you how to use the Excel feature called Flash Fill instead of Formulas. And you might recognize this feature by its keyboard shortcut, Control E. But what is Flash Fill? Well, Flash Fill is a simple but powerful feature that allows you to quickly copy patterns and manipulate data in Excel. For instance, take the names we have here. The goal is to combine the last name with a comma, and then a space, and then the first name. And so, to pull this off, all you have to do is type in the combination the way you want it for the first row of the dataset. After that, you just select the cell below, and then press Ctrl E on your keyboard. This activates Flash Fill, and Excel completes the rest of the data for you. Here is another example using Flash Fill to combine a different type of data rather than simply text. Here I've got the hour, minute, and AM or PM indicator, and the goal is to calculate the proper times for all of this data in column E. Well, with Flash Fill, this is very easy to do. Just select the cell next to the first record of the data, and then enter in the time value the way you want it to be displayed. After that, just select the cell below, and then use Ctrl E to complete the rest of the calculations. How cool is that? Now Flash Fill can also be used to extract or separate data as well. Here I've got a list of addresses, and I need to separate these addresses into the street, city, state, and zip code. Luckily, Flash Fill makes this very easy to do. I just start with the first record, and then type in the street. And then I type in the city, and then the state, and then the zip code. And finally, to complete the rest of the data, I just select the cell below the first column, and then use Ctrl E. I then select the cell beneath the city and use Ctrl E. And then I select the cell below state and use Ctrl E. And then I select the cell below the zip code and use Ctrl E one more time. And just like that, I'm done. Imagine how much easier this would make things if you were working with 6,000 rows of data instead of just six like I have here. It would save you a whole lot of time. Next, let's look at how you can use Flash Fill to replicate very specific patterns based on your data. Here I've got some notebooks and the attributes for each notebook. The goal is to create a unique SKU or identification number for each of these items. To do so, I can use Flash Fill once again. Let's say that I want the SKU to include the first three letters from the style, and then a dash, and then the first two letters from the color, and then a dash, and then the size in its entirety. Well, now that I've created the first SKU or ID number, I can select the cell below and then use Ctrl E to complete the SKU for each product in the list. How cool is that? Okie dokie, let's look at one more example. Let's say you have a list of employees and you want to create a unique company email address for each of these employees that follows a specific structure. For instance, let's say that you want the email structure to be the first name, dot, last name, at, company, dot com. Well, once you've entered the first email address, all you have to do is select the cell below and then use Ctrl E to complete all of the emails using Flash Fill. Once again, your work is complete in just a matter of seconds. Now before I conclude this video, I just want to point out that Flash Fill shouldn't be used to replace formulas in all scenarios. For instance, if you want the final values to update or change dynamically when the original data changes, then you need to use a formula instead. So although Flash Fill isn't a permanent or end-all be-all replacement, it's a good tool to have in your back pocket especially when it comes to manually manipulating data in Microsoft Excel. That being said, thank you so much for watching, and if you learned something new, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button, that way you don't miss any content like this. As always, until next time, 
I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.